Hey, Mooker Forum participants. Regarding my Figuara thread, I posted something which I've been suspecting for months, almost a year, that the grounds of the electromagnets they need to feed back to the source. Positive. The ground needs to get hotter than the source, and it does. Okay, but how to capitalize on a hookup without a commutator there, like Buffon's patent apparently shows. So I did this little thing with capacitors and diodes just to, and I don't have the triplets hooked up. I'm just doing two regular transformers to see if we could simulate the effects and see something or other. So here we go. Out of the grounds, they go into my little circuit. Then I'm coming out of the ground, right to the ground, okay? But I'm collecting the positive into the caps and I'm sending the positive through the multimeter, out of the multimeter, back into the positive. So to see if the potential at any time on these grounds, on either lead, get hotter than a positive. Even without the triplets and doing the whole magic. Just like this. Now watch. Obviously the circuit's going to stop real quick because it's going to fill these capacitors up. And it's not going to pass anything after they're filled. But watch what happens on an amp meter <clears throat> if the negative can send voltage back to the positive. We're going to watch amperage to see if it flows. Ready? And go. Oh, wrong button. And go. Boom. You saw it? Obviously you saw it. While the capacitors were failing, filling up, the, the current, uh, the voltage, the potential on the negative leads exceeds the voltage of the positive. Now, if you hook up one transformer, it does it while it's open, but if you close the secondary, it doesn't do it. So you know how back EMF works, how it sends it into the positive. With this, when you're only using positive only, it sends it into the negative. It reverses the direction of the back EMF, which is how Figuera, with the triplets, he's amplifying this effect. And he's not doing it like this because they had no capacitors back then, and I don't even know if that's going to work fluently because they fill up and they stop. Maybe if I keep emptying them every cycle, a little circuit that lets them fill and empties it, lets them fill and then empties it, I don't know. But anyway, I'll do it one more time. Let me short it out. Let me empty these caps. It's usually not this arduous. Okay, they have to be empty. Okay. I'm going to hit the power. One, two, three. So the amperage flow. And it was in a positive zone. So it's going through the red into the positive. So that's the missing part somehow. I think you had a commutator there that was doing it. Connecting the ground leads at the right time. If you take both these ground leads and tie them together and then go to ground, you're destructing the whole the whole machine because one side gets hotter than the positive as the other one's negative. Then this one gets hotter than the positive and this one's negative. And if you put them together, it just destructs all that potential and you can't reroute it back into the machine to help itself. But as you saw, you could reroute it back into the positive. So that's how it has to be done without a doubt. I got to figure out if I could find a method to do it without commutators because these wires are switching to from no potential to high potential, from high potential to no potential to high potential to no potential. So what kind of electronic switch could switch no, no potential and high potential, both of them? I don't really know besides a mechanical switch, but those don't really work good on high frequency and the contacts wear out. So it's not really an option. So I might have to drain it each time to keep that current going back. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show here. Join the Mooker Forum as I continue to explore and build the Clemente Figuera setup.